What's up guys, welcome to Free Dive Passion. Today I'm going to talk about how to still dive and still be able to equalize even if you have a sticky ear. The mechanics of equalization are very simple. You have the sinus, the eustachian tube and the middle ear. You create pressure within the sinus. This pressure then opens the eustachian tube, is pushed through the eustachian tube and into the middle ear. For most people, one ear is going to be easier to equalize than the other. Some people have narrow or obstructed eustachian tubes and this is going to make equalization harder. Mucus will also cause blockages in the eustachian tubes and make equalization more difficult. And not equalizing regularly enough will also cause some swelling in the eustachian tubes and make equalization harder. If your eustachian tube is obstructed in some way, the amount of pressure you use and the amount of time you hold that pressure becomes very important. The reasoning is very simple. There's a certain amount of air that you're going to need to put into the middle ear in order to equalize. The smaller the tube that you're using to put that air into the middle ear, the longer it's going to take for that air to get there. In order to do that, each time you equalize, when you create the pressure, you need to hold that same amount of pressure. So the, there's a positive pressure in the sinus for long enough for all that air to get through to the eustachian tube. Now the added bonus that you get from this is that pressure is holding open the eustachian tube. If you release the pressure for too long, the outside pressure of the water is then going to collapse the eustachian tube. This is going to cause swelling and make equalization impossible for the rest of that dive and maybe even for the rest of the day. This is called the barotrauma. So anybody that's experienced equalization feeling easy at the start of a session, but then it gets harder the more diving you do, this is because of barotrauma. All it takes is a very mild sense of discomfort to cause a barotrauma. So if you feel pain, then for sure you're going to have some swelling in the eustachian tubes and it's definitely going to affect your equalization for the rest of the day. It's my belief that this is the main reason that beginners who can't equalize struggle. Because on one of their first dives, potentially even the first dive, they went too deep without equalizing. They felt some pressure or some pain in their ears and that was the signal for them to turn. But the damage is already done. All it takes is that one dive that you don't equalize properly. All it takes is a little bit of pressure or pain and your tubes can swell to a point where you'll no longer be able to equalize. If you then continue to dive, which is generally the case if you're taking part in a course, then this swelling is only going to become worse. If you try and do a second session in that same day, which as well is often what happens in a course, then for sure you're not going to be able to equalize for the second session and the damage is just going to get worse and worse so that maybe even the next day your eustachian tubes will not have healed, they won't be back to their original size and you're still not going to be able to equalize. And the reason is not anything technical. Technically, you're still, you are equalizing in a correct way, but no matter how much pressure you create, it's not going to be enough to get the air through to your middle ear because of this swelling in your eustachian tube. So to summarize, if you're struggling to equalize for some reason, generally it's going to be an obstruction in the eustachian tube, which means the air can't move through as fast as what it normally does. So this means you need to hold the pressure for longer in order to give enough time for that air to move through your, your eustachian tube into the middle ear. So that's it for the video. I just wanted to apologize for not getting so many videos out recently, but I've been vlogging and doing a lot of Instagram and I only have so much time per week to dedicate to social media. So if you want to keep up on the, the content that I'm putting out, you can head over to Facebook or to Instagram and add Free Dive Passion, follow Free Dive Passion, and you'll see the other content that I'm putting out through different sources of media. So that's it guys, until next time, take it easy and dive safe.